everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be my playthrough of Outer Wilds and this is a pre-recorded playthrough. So actually these videos are going to be live streams that were from Twitch. I streamed this game about a year ago and just decided to upload it to YouTube because I know that the Outer Wilds community is pretty much always looking for new playthroughs to watch and it's a lot easier to find those on YouTube than it is on Twitch. So I thought I would just bring it here. So with that being said, since this is a live stream, just keep in mind that there are going to be a lot of alerts. There's going to be chat interaction. There may be, you know, emotes flying across the screen, just typical stream things. Also, one other thing I wanted to say is just remember, everybody's playthrough is very different. So please be patient with me. I'm assuming if you're here, you probably really like this game and you can appreciate how different everybody plays, but there are definitely going to be times where you're watching and you're like, okay, is she ever going to get the controls? Don't worry, all right? And then you might be thinking, wow, does she even like the game? I don't know, do I? <laughs> Just be patient, you know, trust the process and know that it was quite the journey for me, so. I really hope that you enjoy. Feel free to like the video, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I will link my Twitch channel down below as well if you wanna follow me on Twitch. I'm definitely active over there. I stream like two to three days per week, just kind of depending on what's going on. So I would love to see you over there as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you have fun. Are y'all ready? I've wanted to play this game for a long time. I have no idea what to expect. No idea what the game is, but I'm hyped. Me too. Can we hear? Pretty. Ooh, the music is so nice. New expedition options, view credits. View credits? Options. Look sensitivity, flight sensitivity. Oops. Button prompts. Audio and language. Text speed. Okay, so it automatically has text. I think. Controls. Graphics. Cool. I guess it's good. Okay, new expedition. Can y'all hear it? Fine. Let me know as we get started um, if any audio needs to change, okay? I literally don't know what to expect. Wake up. Okay. Look around with R. Move. Oh, okay. <gasps> Sighs loudly. Yeah, that's what waking up is like. Okay, cozy. Can I jump? Hold and release. Okay, the jumping is a bit interesting. Can I talk to this person? Roast marshmallow. Oh my God. Wait, look at my hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, where did it go? <gasps> Eat or toss? <laughs> okay. Hello? Talk to Slate. 
There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems, you, seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. I'm ready if you are. Wait, no, I want to look around more. Wait, I want to look around. Shit, I just skipped a bunch of dialogue. Trying to exit out. <laughs> they really tell you nothing, so you just have to fuck around. Okay, cool. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring the, those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. So I need to go to the observatory. This is beautiful. Wait, why did it get so dark? Do I have a flashlight? Oh! Oh my god, it's the same thing as The Last of Us. Right stick. <gasps> Launch tower. Can I go in? Observatory. Oh, okay, so I was going the right way. Hello? Nice. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums, Rebeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. <gasps> Hi, JB. Thank you. I hope so, too. Okay, sounds good, Vic. Also, it, like, keeps getting really dark. Okay, so someone named Feldspar is missing. Oh, who's this daddy? Marl? Okay, lumberjack vibes. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The current launch pad is fine, thanks. Nice try, we all know you have it out for that tree. The launch pad is flammable? Ha, huh, you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours, probably. Um, okay. Marl is kind of a hottie, I gotta say. Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. What the hell? I don't know what is going on here. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Herthian, his, Herthian, Herthian history. Oh, is this what, like a little museum or something? Harthian. So is that like what I am? Who's this? Hello? <gasps> Porphy? Hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is delicious sap wine and more 
is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Okay, that's me for real. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Okay. So the observatory was that way, but I'm going to go back here really quick because there was another building that I saw that I didn't go in. What's this? Hello? Micah? Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. I'll say that. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. <gasps> Fly model ship. Oh my god, look. Look at our feet. Horizontal thrust? Don't mind if I do. Oh. Down up thrust. Oh. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'll get the hang of this pretty soon. Where is it? Down, up. Oh. Okay, I cannot seem to get the hang of that, so. Anyway, thanks, Micah. Micah seems like a child. Maybe we're going into lunch instead of launch. Maybe. If we're lucky. Okay, let's head towards the observatory. There's probably more people to meet. <gasps> Who are these cuties? Oh my god. A cowboy. Hello. Tefra? Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Okay, sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Equip signal scope. My favorite thing is everyone being named after rocks. <gasps> Where'd they go? I don't know how this thing works. Also, hi, Em. Oh, I thought I could jump on the roof. That says how far away in that direction. Forty-three minutes? Meters. <laughs> Meters. <laughs> Listen, I'm American, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> so wait. Should I go that direction? Meters equals yards. No, I know what a meter. <laughs> I know what a meter is. I do know that. That's where they're hiding. Okay, so I gotta go that direction. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <gasps> I see you, stinker. 
Oh, 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 <laughs> um. oh, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, hold on. Sorry, the jumping is really weird. You have to like, you have to like hold it. I thought I was gonna drown too. Okay. I've got this, I swear. Okay, now be careful. Oh, there we go. I found you. Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Okay. Wait. Oh! Hey, stinker. Oh, it's like a jet pack. I won? I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Gal Galena, Galena. Galena is kind of quiet, it seems, and a little shy. Okay, so let's keep heading up to the observatory. I'm getting so distracted by everyone, especially this fisherman. Hello? Spinal? Spinal tap? Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around in the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface and they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabbro couldn't go any further. <sighs> Tell me more. Good morning, Sinister Truth. Or good evening, sorry. Morning for me. <gasps> Nick, it's snowing. Oh my God, I wish it was snowing here. I will, I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the weather, I'm sorry, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. <gasps> Is that all true? Heard it from Gabro themselves. Gabro can be a little fanciful, sure, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably anyway. I guess if you want to know if the story's entirely true, you can go see Giant Steep for yourself. Okay, I definitely want to go there and see if there's a monster. Thank God, that water was so loud. It's like playing Animal Crossing next to a freaking waterfall. <gasps> Whoa. Look. Oh. Oh my God, is that a geyser? Observatory. My God, there's too many places to go. I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Scout launcher? Who's this? Arcos. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a su uh, oh, super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk in to any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Okay, look at this tree house. Hello? Moraine. Hmm. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. 
It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard R Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Cool. What's that? Is that the sun? Oh! What the hell is that thing? Okay, I'm a little overwhelmed. I must say, use camera, take a snapshot. <gasps> cool. Okay, the observatory is that way. That's where I need to go. What's this though? Zero G cave? Oh my god. Hello? Gossin? Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Ooh. Okay, so let's go repair this ship. Bro, I don't know what the hell is going on. I gotta be honest. Damn, I'm really going down. There's also a lot of reading that's happening. Um, oh. Um. Hello? Zero G cave. Zero G cave. Suit up! Whoa. 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 Yeah, whatever's happening, it is pretty. Whoa! <gasps> oh! Oh my god. I'm flying! Oh my god, this is fun. Hello, who are you? Tough, I'll say. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in. So you're going in there, in the cave? Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Ugh, now I've got hand sweats. Work it, baby. Yes. Smash that rock. Okay, so Tuff hates the cave. Is this it? Or over here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa! <laughs> Where am I going? All the way down here? Holy shit. What? What? Wait, can I, how do I hold on to it? Where? <laughs> what the hell? Wait. 
wait. Hold, repair. Velocity matched. Wait a minute. How do I repair it? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, we got it. Wow. Okay, this is really hard. Is this game going to give me motion sickness? I think it might. Oh, press. Match velocity. And then... You're probably going to use the velocity match a lot. Okay. Uh... Oh. What else needs fixed? Oh. Is this what else needs repaired? There we go. Got him. Okay, now how do I get the hell? Oh, how do I get out of here? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Someone help me. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Wait. Here we go. Get me out. Get me out. <laughs> Okay. Holy shit. All right, I did it. Pog champ. That made me feel a little bit woozy. I'm kind of nervous about that. Hey, I fixed it. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Girl bossing and girl flying. That's right. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting the hiccups, I'm sorry. <gasps> Is this it? The mechanics of this game remind me of, uh, <laughs> bug snacks. It's giving bug snacks. Oh. Our faithful leader. Hal? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Me. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, jeez. Do not break it. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Aw, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the no new Nomai statue? Just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. 
but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, uh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? No, my. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled within our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Whoa. Okay, cool. Is this the observatory or is this a museum? Oh my god, there's too much to look at. This is both? Okay. I think this might be where I'm supposed to be. Hornfells. There you are. I just finished pre-light observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Oh, it's time. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Know My Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um... I'm going to wing it. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar in the Great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like that's all that's left to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay, let's GTFO. You're playing Stardew? Hell yeah. What season are you in? Okay, this is where I came from. Oh! What the hell? One quacky boy. What are you looking at, bro? <laughs> Okay, I don't know what the damn hell just happened there. It happened. Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I could swim. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god wait i still have the launch codes right okay parkour hi brie winter year two day 15 at 6 20 p.m whoa that wasn't so sad <laughs> okay i do love that market too hey slate Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's all fueled and ready to go. Oh, did, did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Okay, how do I go? Is this it? Launch me, daddy. Okay, are y'all ready to get launched? I'm so scared. I'm really afraid this game is going to give me, make me too woozy. Oh, 
Oh boy. Um, do I have any friends up here to talk to? Yeah, I need to take some <laughs> drama mean for real because if I'm floating the whole time, I literally might not even be able to play this, which would be truly very tragic. Should I go in here? Oh. Suit up. Okay. Consider me suited. Little Scout. See beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. Okay. That looks like my little launch spot. Don't know what that is. Ship log. Timber hearth. Brittle hollow. Ember twin, ash twin. So are we currently on timber hearth? Yeah. Click rumor mode. View entry. The one and only Hearthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flashed before my eyes. That's true, it happened. A cave at the very center of Timber Hearth used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for Gossen. <gasps> this is a knowledge tree you'll fill out. Cool. Okay, cool. View map. <gasps> Timber Hearth, you are here. The Hourglass Twins. Giants Deep. That's where I want to go. I want to go in the water. Oh, this is sick. Okay, let's do it. Buckle up, baby. Oh, God, I'm so scared. <laughs> Unbuckle. Lift off. Landing camera. R2 hold for lift off. What's scout launcher? Launch scout. Where? Who's scout? Oh, I'm going towards the sun. Woo! <laughs> oh. There's our pilot. Ready to get this beauty off the ground? Hey, what can I do you for? You're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. You know this ship is a death trap, right? Well, yeah, it's a death trap, but a really powerful death trap. What, you suddenly care about safety now? Yeah, that wasn't the water planet. Okay, so we're in a time loop. So if I die, I don't really die. Okay. All right, let's try not to go straight towards the sun this time. Um, is there a way that I can like shoot myself towards something? Brittle hollow. How do I help set, can I set myself towards something? Lift off. Oh yeah, right. All right, well, we'll go for it again. <gasps> How do I go here? I 
I want to go on to the Addle Rock. Engage autopilot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Wait. No. Oh, God. I can't look at this. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Am I still in my sh I'm out of my shit. Um, yeah, I cannot be spinning around in space like that, y'all. I can't handle that. Well, how do I get there? Oh, here we go. Where'd my ship go? <laughs> Is that my ship? It is getting further away. Oops. Wait, no. Oh. Who is Scout? I'm about to fly into the sun again. That is that picture on the top right. What is that picture on the top right? What picture? Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll go here instead. Maybe I'll fly into the sun again. Scout is a probe that takes pictures. Okay, got it. Put away. Roll. Hold R. Question, do you want to figure out your tools and controls for yourself, or are you okay with a little bit of back seating? Um. <laughs> oh. Let me continue to, to work on it a little bit and I'll let y'all know if I genuinely have a question. You know, but I do think I'm probably just going to be dying out here because I don't know. Yeah. Yes, thank you for clarifying. I do appreciate you asking. I want to go there. Why won't it let me move? Wait, no, not there. I almost passed out in Stardew. Oh, no. Double eyes for the aliens in this game. True. I'm not able to move, though. It's not letting me move. Can I uh, off myself? <laughs> kind of hard to walk in zero G. Yeah, but I should be able to boost. I have a jet pack. You are moving just very quickly away from everything. Oh, really? I'm going away? <laughs> okay, how do I go towards? How do I go towards? I'm asking, I'm asking. <laughs> I always forget this is part of new games. You have to learn everything. Use your left control stick. Oh no, I only have three minutes of oxygen. 
Hi, Astral Storm. Oh, I got a trophy. See the left side? Bro, I don't know what any of this shit means. Here, I'll make myself a little smaller. You are boosting towards correctly, but in... But the negative 150 meters per second means that's the speed at which you're currently moving away. Oh, it's telling me which direction I'm moving. But how is that telling me a direction? Yeah, I see the arrows. But I don't understand. I think I need to just die. I think I just should die. <laughs> In space, when you stop applying thrust, you're still moving at the same speed as you were previously. I think this means you aren't going to get far in space without your ship. Yeah, I was trying to land my ship, but I crashed it into the planet. So I need to go slower. I guess. Yeah, at least I can like... Oh. At least I can focus on something and... Uh, make make us hear some cute music. Bro. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton is indeed the deadliest man in space. I think that's where the match velocity function is going to come in handy. The whistling reminds me of Shane. It's so true. That's why I'm trying to go to that planet. I'm hoping Shane is there. Okay, suit up. Suit my boot up. Do I have any new notes about what a freakazoid I am? No. Okay. Okay, I want to go to whatever it was called. All right. Here we go. Third time's the charm. I just don't know how high I need to go. <gasps> Wait, is that where I just lifted off from? Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is this my planet? Where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, for the love of God. I think y'all had... Where'd the whistling guy go? Where did the whistling planet go? The rock. <laughs> Ember. Oh, those are those two that were connected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, I'm back on my own planet. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I want to go to... <gasps> you know what? Let's go here.
Let's just go here. Wait, am I going or am I going away? <sighs> Y'all, I'm truly sorry. I, I literally don't know what the hell is going on. I don't have a freaking clue what's going on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> okay, why do people like this game? Okay, how do I go here? Try autopilot? But how do I get there? Accelerating toward destination. I got burnt up again. You're locked on to somewhere else. It says L. Go to Uranus. I would love to if I could find my way there. Yeah, I really enjoy the sun, apparently. That was the fourth. No, 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 I haven't died once. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, haven't died once. Okay guys, first trip to space, here we go. Now, I don't know how I did it the first time, but I locked onto the planet that I wanted to go to and I don't know why I can't do it anymore, but I didn't have the same thing. I didn't have the same button available. Click the left stick. Thank you for trusting me with your entertainment. Abzi, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Pushing the left stick is the default. Okay, that's my planet I just shot up from, huh? The Adel Rock, that's where I wanna go. Okay, okay, okay. How do I slow down? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck. Wait. Landing mode. While you're centered on some rock and within its range, can't just lock anywhere you want by not aborting the autopilot. Amazing landing. One shot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can I get out of here now or what? Should I get out? Oh my God. I think I need to fix my ship. I think I broke a part of it, it said. Oh yeah, looky there. Oops. Autopilot auto slows down. Usually when not aborted. I swear the first time I had it on autopilot and it slammed into the rock, that's why I aborted it. But okay, I will not abort it next time. You might want to make sure chat knows which of your questions you actually want answers to. Totally, totally, Adzi. I, trust me, I will let y'all know whenever I want help. Please refrain from just telling me what to do. I really like to explore things on my own and I ask a lot of questions out loud when I'm usually just talking to myself. So I will definitely let y'all know if I'm asking a legitimate question. Yikes! Hoi! I'm just flying all over the damn place. No worries. Y'all are all good. Oh my God. So I wonder if I can get out of here 
Or if I should have landed somewhere else on the planet. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Where the damn... Equip Scout Launcher. Oh wait, that's my picture thing, huh? Oh look, this looks like a road. Hello? Is there anybody here? <gasps> What's this? Oh my god, what is this? Whoa. Space is hard. It's super hard. Is this a marble? Okay, let's go downstairs. Oh my gosh, is this a palace? Whoa. Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled? No way, that's so cool. Pick up scroll. Um, insert scroll. <gasps> oh. I'm translating. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Con Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's south pole immediately then. Okay. So, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. My apprentice and I will make adjustments and try again. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Midgar, this is your home. It's beautiful. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Okay, so the Nomai critters are looking for the eye of the universe. I mean, that seems kind of like a lofty goal, but I'm not going to shit on their plan, you know. Now, I was hearing music. somewhere oh fart oh god oh god now that one sounds like a tibetan singing bowl wait i want to go there i want to go get the whistles Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Oh my god, yeehaw! Esker. 
Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Um, was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfells and Gossen, mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. <gasps> they forgot about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Um, what is this place? Ha ha, very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Oh, well, welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Okay. Can I go in his house? No, I wish I could. Can't seem to get into any of the buildings. Yeah, Esker seems lonely. But I love his whistling, or their whistling. I, I don't think they're, I don't think any of them are gendered, are they? Okay, let's go to the North Pole. Love you, Esker, you cutie toot. Oh, holy shit. I think this is it. Can I get up there? Oh no, I'm slip sliding. Here we go. Oh, oh. Esker signal scope log. Still not picking up Rybex Bandro from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. That's cute. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybex doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Oh, Fel Fel Feldspar's harmonica. Okay, we need to go to Timber Hearth. We gotta go to Timber Hearth. I'm yelling Timber. Like Kesha. Alright, how do I find my ship? I see my little map. <gasps> Ooh, I'm heading towards something cool. On my little map. Oh, it's my ship. Hello? It's going down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better dance. Oh, okay, let's go there. Oh god, I have to fly again, don't I? Shit. You better dance. Okay, timber hearth. Wait, wait, that's the planet that I was on, right? Timber Hearth is my planet. I don't want to go back there unless I could go on the opposite end of it or something. But the log said that... 
Uh, let's go to Brittle Hollow. Is that it? Oh, shit. Let me look back at my map. That way I can try to see what it looks like. Yeah, Brittle Hollow looks like it has its own little sun. Hollow's Lantern. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Oh my god, whoa, did I just launch off? Oh wait, no, I didn't. Okay, where's Brittle Hollow? Oh shit, I'm going towards the sun again. Oh, fart. <gasps> oh no, no! Oh my god. Okay. Oh wait, I went so far. What's that? The interloper? I think I've accepted enough hugs from the sun. Oh, I think I went way too far. Dark bramble. Okay, we could go there. Oh, my cockpit is damaged. Wait, am I going far away? No, I'm getting closer. <gasps> Wait, that's not where I want to go. I want to go here. I want to go... Oh, let's go to Giant's Deep. I do want to go there. That's the water planet, right? Let's go swimming. <laughs> So is this just what you do? You just go to all the different planets? Mum's the word. All right, all right. Oh. Pilot. Let's go into landing mode, baby. Horizontal thrust. No, I don't want to thrust. I want to land. Oh, I'm landing. I'm landing. Oh, shit. Uh, huh. Okay. You know, maybe I don't want to be here. Oh yeah, get me on the land. Get me on there. Get me on there. Get me on there. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, get me out of here. Let's go repair. Okay. Oh my god, it's so stormy. Oh, wait, there we go. First time I went here, it scared the bejeez out of me. Yeah, this is creepy. Oh, no, I need to repair that. How do I get up there? 
unidentified sing signal nearby. Okay, I'll worry about the ship in a minute. Hello? Gabbro? Nice, it's you. Glad to see you made it here. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep like dying repeatedly? I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. What did you think it was? I figured it would be some kind of fidgety time business, but I wasn't really thinking about what's happening to the shape of time, you know? But a loop makes sense here. Let's go with loop for now. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asked if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. <gasps> I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it had seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. Oh? That happened to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me, but hey, is this your first solo voyage? Kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? How's space treating you? What's up with this planet, I'm going to say? Parthians are all named after rocks or minerals or geological formations. That's so cool. Haha, ha, I know, right? Oh, you meant like tell you more about it? I got you. Well, Giant's Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current and neither idea worked. As for land masses, as for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones. Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. I found something. What did I find? Oh my gosh! Adzi! Thank you so much for using your prime sub on me. That is so sweet. Oh my god. Welcome to the Gershard, bestie. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Um, no worries. Feel free to let me know when you do find something cool, though. Okay. Oh, God. Let's go, girls. <laughs> okay, scared the shit out of me. What happened? What? What? Another day down. Now, I want to know what this situation is going on, too. Whatever this blue ball floating away is that we keep seeing every time that we wake up. Oh my god, no, it's not your fault. No, do not apologize. It is not your fault. That that sound alert is so loud that it's like a jump scare, which was unintentional at first, but now it's pretty funny. Um, I want to go up here. So please do not apologize. I probably would have died soon anyway. 
Oh, oh my God. God. How are the wilds treating you today? Naked beer ice. Um, not well. I do have to say, I don't know what the f is going on. And I just got to the planet that I wanted to go to and then I died. So I'm going to read my log. I'm gonna read my log. Ice, oh my god, do we have friends in here? <gasps> oh, cool. Yeah, I wanna go to Statue Island. Feller, fellow Outer Wilds nerds, I love that. I hope it is not uh, too physically slash mentally slash emotionally painful to watch me play this for the first time. Um, but I will say it is extremely hard to get used to and know what the hell is happening here. <laughs> Welcome, nerds. Esker is growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Yeah, no shit. A lookout platform with a spectacular blue view of the solar system. Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Esker signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. A Nomai device cre created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. They were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the eye of the universe. There's more to explore here. Watching people play this is like crack. You can't stop. I love it as much as I did playing the game. I've watched four and a half hours of someone playing without their jetpack. <laughs> okay, well, y'all are sweet. I appreciate it. Jeez Louise. Gabbro is lounging in a hammock near the island's shore. Found a Nomai statue. Aw, oh, shit. Memories. Remembers dying. They saw their memories. We're the only ones that know we're in a time loop. More to explore here. Yeah, I, I know. I didn't want to die. One of the islands in Giant's Deep has a Nomai statue on the beach. I want to find that. Okay. Sounds good, Shane. So then... Okay. It feels a little, um, feels a, a little like whenever I first started Stardew, you know, and there's like 20 trillion things that you can do. And so you're like, what do I do? It feels a little like that, which I find a little overwhelming. Um, when it's just kind of like free play, like do whatever the hell you want with no objective. So, um, let's find somewhere else to go. Okay, that's where I lifted off from. Okay, I did want to go there. Brittle Hollow. I'm going to go to Brittle Hollow. This game is overwhelming, totally valid. Okay, well, thank you to all of you um, fans of the game who love it and for affirming me that it is extremely overwhelming. Firing retro rockets. Sick. I'm just going to try to, like, hit up all the islands or all the planets and then do some more investigating from there. Landing mode. Oh, beautiful. Y'all, look. Look, I landed my spaceship without breaking anything. <laughs> Except my bones. Oh my god, I'm so sorry I landed on someone's house. Oh, lord, forgive me. Oh. 
What the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Dreaming Everlight. What's this game about? Your guess is as good as mine, bud. I've got no clue. I'm in an endless time loop. And I'm exploring space. That's literally all I can tell you. Because that is all that the game has told me. Okay. Yeah, that, you know, they don't really need that house. A bed. That looks cozy. And a fire. You know, let's take a marshmallow break. How do I... There we go. Yep, yep. Yum, yum. The journey here from the South Pole has been... Um, I'm going to go with harrowing. Because of the um, all of the meteors... But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. Thank you see. for trusting me with your Oh, Dreaming Everlight, thank you for the follow. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there's some sort of old know my path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. <gasps> oh my god, look at my shadow. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Okay. So let's go there. Let's do that. Across from the campsite with the trees growing out of it. So meteors is what we're hearing, I think. Oh, God bless you. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, is that ghost? Um, Is that ghost stuff or whatever it was called? Ghost matter? It sets you on fire. Okay, so don't go near the blue crystals. Got it. This game is about exploration and mystery. I'll say. Oh. <laughs> is he being a stinker? Uh oh. Yeah, I do need your help, Boomer. How do I get in this building? Oh, what? <gasps> Hi, baby! Hello! Oh, thank you! Hello! Oh my goodness. So, I want to go in here. I don't think I can jump high enough. an entryway I'm not seeing do I need to land my spaceship inside of it oh lordy lordy I don't know if I can do thank that thank you for trusting me with your energy. astral storm thank you for the follow I I appreciate that welcome in new friends part of what I love about starting new games on stream is that we always get new friends who come in who are like specifically fans of the game and I always think that's so much fun because y'all know I need the help okay I'm not going to go near that one surely to god I don't have to re re I don't have to land my spaceship again do I I want to go in there I want to go in there I don't even know how I'm going to get back up to my spaceship TBH. Huh. Oh, wait, I have a jetpack. Wait, do I have a jetpack? I thought I had a jetpack. I don't know how I'm going to get anywhere. Without a jetpack. Did you not suit up? Did I not? Maybe I didn't. 
Yeah, you're like, yeah, remember whenever I said I watched someone play without a jetpack for four hours? That's you, honey. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you noticed. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just live here now. I figured I had my suit on since I didn't die. But now I can't yeet myself up to my spaceship, so I think I might have to die. Because I can't get up there. Yeah, uh, anybody got a spacesuit laying around anywhere? <laughs> Hello? I think I might need to just die on this ghost stuff. Ghost matter. This is the first I've seen this, and I've seen a lot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, I need the spaceship to suck me up. Damn it. Oh, wait, maybe here I can go. Wait. Come on. Get on there. Oh, for the love of God. Come on. Okay, there's really no way for me to go anywhere then, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die and I'll land here again. Take me now. everyone. Sorry you had to see that. <sighs> what was that planet called? <laughs> Brittle Hollow or something? What is that? Is that my body yeeting out? Okay, we're gonna suit up this time. We're gonna suit up, I promise. Hello? We're gonna suit up. We're gonna do a flawless landing. Gorgeous, we've got it on. Perfect. Buckle up. Let's do this. Do people speed run this game? <laughs> How might one do that, I wonder? Okay, besties. That's where I came from. That's it. That's where I want to go. Okay, look. Look, at least I've gotten the hang of landing for the most part, right? People speedrun every game, that's true. I might just have to walk around and find that spot again, but that's okay. Undershot target. Wait. Get me there. Bit of a weird speed run. I can imagine.
Okay, let me land. Here we go. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Beautiful. Okay, I've got my suit on, right? Yes, I have my suit on. Okay. See unidentified signal nearby. What in the name of God is that? Ooh, another cool building. But hold on. Same tower shard. Tower shard. Any shards in the chat? <laughs> Sorry. What the hell am I supposed to do with a shard? Okay, that's cool, I guess. I don't really know. Oops, I sharded. <laughs> oh, look, more of this thing. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon... Descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. The quantum moon? Holy shard. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are ab aberrant, aberrant, or my brain must be. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. How do I get in there? said the steps below oh my god we're going to the quantum moon whoa oh my gosh what is going on hello Oh my god, what is that? Looks like a classroom. Oh, that looks like it's going to suck me up somewhere. Let's go this way first. <laughs> Night court vibes for real, Miranda. Whoa. Oh no, RIP. Wait, they have little horns. So it's part of that um, other little critters. No my or whatever. What's this? Uh-oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. What the hell just happened? 
Was that a portal? <gasps> Was that a portal? What's that? How do I get there? Did you just get yeeted? Yeah, I, I got yeeted out of the cool underground spot. Wait, how do I land on an on an item as a as a as a person floating in space? Legitimate question. How do I yeet myself towards it and not just bounce straight off? Is there a way? But I need to get back to that planet, otherwise I'm just going to die again. And I keep finding cool stuff to explore on the planet, and then I keep dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go in there. Oh my god, look, here we go. Wait, shit. There's a button to match velocity to get you close. Velocity matched. Wait, am I standing? I'm floating though. Oh my good lord. Okay, all right. What is this? I need to go. Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh no there's too much going on in space um okay where's the brittle whatever it was called brittle rock or something what's that oh wait it's showing me where my ship is oh oh can I like focus on the ship Oh. <laughs> Wait. There's my ship. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to get to my ship. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So... Should I match the velocity when I'm getting closer to it? I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What's this? What's this? <laughs> I don't know how to get there. How do I? No, 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 not that. I want to go to my ship. Why am I going farther away? I don't understand. I only have limited buttons to press. Does the left joystick not send me towards things? You burned in the opposite direction for a while. But I don't understand how I did that. I thought I was just pressing left. 
like going towards it. Full fuel level critical. It does slowly and the planet is going the opposite direction of you in orbit. So, okay, so if you're out floating in space, I mean, am I just screwed or what? Unless I magically am close to my ship? I think I'm just screwed. Well, this is horrifying. <laughs> yeah, you are right now. Okay, now I have to ask a morbid question. Also, if I'm out floating in space, is there any way that I can just, you know, you know, end it all? Other than just waiting for my oxygen to run out? Okay, so note to self, if I go back to that spot and go underground, don't go through the blue holes. Watching my memories, you'll see me go through. And then I get yeeted out. Try flying into something very fast. But I don't seem to know how to fly. I seem to always fly away from things, even when I think that I'm flying towards them. Oh, Lord. It's giving... <laughs> It's giving Lev's shortcut on The Last of Us. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, God, please help me now. If there is a God. Yeah, yeah, I know, short-lived memory. Okay. But now my memories are going backwards. <gasps> okay, before, and every time that I wake up, that blue thing shoots out of that, whatever the hell that is. Why are my memories going backwards now? <laughs> what the? Yes, there's fall damage. Yeah, this is not like the games I usually play. Ship log. Whitehole Station, Northern Glacier, High Energy Lab, Quantum Moon. <sighs> yeah, okay, hold on. I just want to look. I'm going to go up into space really quick. <laughs> hold on, everyone. Let me, go up, uh, let me go up to space real quick. Let me just see if the sun is out here. <laughs> Your knees don't bend that way normally. Hello? Well, there's the sun right there. She's doing just fine. Looking absolutely gorgy. I'm trying to go back to Bramble Palace or whatever it is, Brittle Hollow. Maybe I should stop going to that planet, actually. Maybe I should go somewhere else. Because that one does not seem to be... Uh, do me any favors. Although, no, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go back because now Leonardo told me a secret. Which was... Oh shit, where am I? Which was that I can change the direction of all those little things. No, no, no. I don't want to go to the lantern. There we go. All right. So maybe. I still don't know how to get up those freaking stairs. You know?
Good morning, Ginge. Oh boy, oh boy, we're going fast, we're going fast. <gasps> okay, a beautiful landing, I must say. A beautiful landing. That was absolutely gorgeous. You have to admit. You have to. Admit it. Thank you, Norn. Ginge, how are you? People are always trying to get me to bend over backwards. Now they want my knees to bend the other way too. It's literally so unreasonable. Okay, so. Here's the question. What happens if I make this go up? Is it gonna shoot me out into space? I know this makes me go down. I don't want it to shoot me out into space. I'm gonna be so pissed off. Ginger, I'm pretty good. I'm I'm a little stressed, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit stressed. I just I just don't know what's happening here. <gasps> okay, this looks promising. This looks promising. Cool. Yeah, take me somewhere. Take me somewhere, not the sun. An identified signal nearby. Where? Hello? Ryback. Oh my god, I found a friend! Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, uh, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere and my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... yeah. Um, I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Oh, I just have to say never mind. Where should I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate, because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City that's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Absor Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or um, the archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all timber hurt Scott, seeing as I'm all timber hurt Scott right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian. Or um, if I have some knowledge of them, I mean. So maybe I can help? Okay. Well, that's a cutie. Big cutie energy. I want a marshmallow. This is the only damn thing I know how to do. That's the only damn thing I know how to do is roast a frickin' marshmallow, man. I like that cutie, me too. <gasps> the 
Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. How was I walking on that? Where was that? These like keep you on the ground. These are what I need to be by those stairs. Wait, is that where I came from? Dude, <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on here. This is cool. Ooh, what's that? Gravity cannon. Wait. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Uh oh. Here we go. I saved myself. So we could go in here. That seems scary. I don't want to go there. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, let's go back that way. I'm going to go left this time. Can I go left? Oh. Shit. Okay. Yeah, take me in there. Take me in there. I want to figure out how to go through there. All right, all right, here we are. We're back to this place. Surface integrity. Okay, so they were saying something about using my, using the scout to figure out about this 80% okay okay so how do I go to the right can I go to the right oh why won't it let me go that way Wait, let me go. Oh, brother. like it's going to take me out to space. Now, where were those going? I I don't really know where I ended up going with this. I think I fell back down by accident. Because this seems kind of like something. Oh, wait. I remember now. That's right, it took me to this thing. <gasps> Wait, I didn't come out here though, did I? <gasps> oh my gosh, look, it's like a bridge. <gasps> oh 
no! Oh, fart. <laughs> uh oh, wait, did I just die? <laughs> That seemed like a cool place I almost got to, huh? <gasps> almost did it. Is that a cool place I should be getting to? And it's still going backwards with my memories now. Do you think I should go look at the statue again? Death by railing. Yeah, almost did it. Did what? Whatever that is. <sighs> okay, so the sun exploded into a big blue ball and now it made all my memories go backwards. So I wonder if that did something with a time loop, but I'm still in a time loop. It didn't like ruin the time loop. I still am in the loop when I die. So I don't think your memories ever replay forwards. Wait, really? Oh. I could have sworn that they were that they started playing backwards and they were playing forwards. Yeah, I always forget that I can like jump and boost myself with the rocket. I forget that I can do that and that makes it a lot easier to um you know explore I do really like the music the music is very pretty I'm gonna go look at the statue again and see if it does anything different now that I've learned some things If I can find it again. Would you like a clarification on the memories thing? Non-spoiler, but a reminder of what happened. Well, what do you mean what happened? Oh look, there's people here looking at it now. Hey, look at this, the statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Sigh, me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Me neither, bro. Was there something you needed? Um, where are the other travelers? Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant's Deep. So I need to go to the Hourglass Twins to find Chert. And there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even still alive. Still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Yes, I do remember that the museum, or the um, statue played my memories forward. So maybe that's what was playing my memories forward. And I was thinking all my memories were always played forward. So if that's playing them forward, oh, I already read that. I feel like this, okay, I'm good. How about you, what do you think, Hal? Hey, I was just about to come find you. Look, 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 you've got to see this. The know my statue's eyes are open. They uh, used to be closed, probably should have started with that, and now they've opened. We're not sure why they opened since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. 
wait, come on, why can't I tell people about it? Hey, I saw you. I saw what happened. Future site of our next exhibit. Okay. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Okay, a literal science lesson. What's this? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Wait. What the hell? This looks like that rock that was on the planet. And it keeps moving. Exists in all possible states until it is observed. I'm telling you, I just feel like this game is meant for someone, for people who are extremely intelligent. And like, that's not me. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. So true. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Oh look, this is like the rock. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were they born in our solar system or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? So true. Oh, look, a skeleton. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. Most likely adapted for living exclusively on land, the differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan ancestors. Not clear where they originated from or why they disappeared. Okay. Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost. Okay, can any... Oh, look, here's that purple thing. Dude, I should have come in here first. <laughs> this crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Yeah, this is what was on that little area I was just walking. And this is what I need to be on the area where the stairs is are oh wait how do i get off here we go okay we've got some art oh wait i already read that what's this the anglerfish spe specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew across that flew close to dark bramble it appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere Okay, so let's be real. We know these little bitches are going to be hanging out on that water planet. <laughs> no, thank you. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. 
This will one day be the fate of our own son. Wait, I saw that happen. Am I time traveling? Oh, I appreciate, I appreciate the sentiment. I wish they didn't take the host button away. So what, am I seeing the future or what? So it exists in all places that I'm not looking. Okay. So I did see the fate of our son. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Okay, I must say the museum is quite helpful. I should have come in here in the first place. I mean, I did come in here, but I should have read, you know. Oh, what's this? A map. Okay, that's just a map. Whoa, where, wait, where did I go? How do I get out of here? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling a little confused. <laughs> okay, not a little. That's an understatement. A lot. They're saying the fate of our son is to have a supernova, and I saw that happen. So, am I seeing the future? Oh, look at these cuties. Oh, they're so cute. So, like I know I'm in a time loop, but... Am I time traveling? Am I the time traveler's wife? I don't know. Oh, look, I just made a big circle. Okay, okay. I've been totally lurking and doing chores around the house, but this game seems so cool. Rebecca, it is cool. We need 88 miles per hour. You're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. Wait, did I already say, did I already say that? I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ, buddy, what's your problem? Did you think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say someone has ran out of patience. <gasps> oh, yeah, show me your hearthy and winkers. <laughs> You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above. Please tell me you knew that. A light source? Okay. It's 2.16. I'm probably going to go to like 2.30. I truly don't think I have the willpower to go until 3 o'clock because this is really a lot for me to handle. <laughs> but I don't want to like... I don't know. I just feel like I haven't done anything good or productive. How does nobody remember Back to the Future? Slate makes all this stuff so that people don't use it. Oh, Slate. All right, all right. What's that? The Addle Rock. Okay, I've been there, done that. I don't really like that place. I want to go back to my cool place. Whatever it's called. Or should I go to this? What is that? Is that a... Is that a... I can't see what that is. 
Oh, there it is. Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow is like my favorite place. What's everybody's favorite place? Or wait, hold on, hold on. Stop this. Oh shit, never mind, I should. Wait, I wanna fly right inside of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. See, here's what I don't understand. What's that? None of what you found. Okay, cool. I feel like whenever it shoots me out, it's shot me into some negative space. Like this is not the real world. What is this? <laughs> this is road rules. Okay, is this seems to be the tower that I can warp back into, huh? How do I do it? <laughs> Get me up. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. The sun is your favorite place. Oh, wait, that's where I want to go in that little hole. Exit to repair. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, I do mind. Wait. <laughs> that's where I'm gonna go. Wait, that's my ship. I wanna go into here. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Now take me somewhere. Take me somewhere. Yes. Oh, here we go. Trees detected. Really? <gasps> okay, look, I'm back in this room now. I'm back in this room. I don't know what to do here, but I'm here. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ember Twin Projection Stone. Wait, I already picked that up before. Thank you, I am getting better, aren't I? I wanna go inside of the planet. I wanna go into this do? <gasps> oh my god, I did it. I did it. I warped. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did it. All right, let's freaking yeet, buddy. <gasps> Wait, why does the sun look so extra red? Oh. Uh oh, ouch. Wait. Oh. 
Okay, look at me. Look at me. I'm doing such a good job. I'm moving around. Okay, I want to go over there to that. I'm going to go over here. What the hell is this thing? Oops. Wrong thing. Distress beacon? <gasps> Escape pod. Escape pod one. Distress beacon. Are you okay? How do I get them out of there? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. Have we heard from escape pod two or escape pod three? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear what the other two escape pods distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. The moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. I believe the moon has passed. We need to find shelter and quickly the volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Oh my god, this is cool. <gasps> oh, what? Are those pods? What the hell? Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Escape pod three, launching escape pod two. Escape pod one, vessel has been mortally injured. <gasps> Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Wait, scanning external environment, scan complete, minor structural instabilities detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy detected, hospitable. Yeet! Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay. What's this? No. Come back. Come back. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Whoa. What's that? Can I pick that up? Okay, y'all. Will I fall into the black hole? What do we think? What do we think? Where's another? I need another platform. Uh oh, it's pulling, it's vibrating. No, but you will die from the sun. <laughs> I was on to something. I was on to something. Huh. Okay, so. We know that the Nomai, I assume are not from Brittle Hollow, right? Because they were traveling there. They said that it was hospitable, even though there's crater or the thing smashes it every time. So we know they're not from there. Um, but somebody died? Is that what happened? Somebody's escaped 
somebody died in their escape pod? It's kind of sad. R.I.P. to whoever whoever passed away. That was that was pretty successful though. I felt like I found something. If not now, the next time. Gabra was the one who was on the water planet, right? I really wanted to explore the water planet. Maybe I'll go back there next time. Okay. I have to stop. Oh my god, I thought I exited out. I, <laughs> I thought I just exited right out of OBS. I gotta stop. Okay, bye. Imagine. Reset loop and quit. Wait. Reset loop and quit to main menu. Do I say yes? What does it mean, reset loop? I did well, Narn. That's really sweet. I don't feel like I did. Oh, okay. Um, Naked Beer Ice, thank you for the follow. And Adzi, thank you so much for gifting a community sub. IB13, my man. Thank you for trusting me with your entertainment. The game auto saves when you time loop. It means you'll start by waking up again next time. So I can just say yes because I need to go. Thank you for trusting me with your entertainment. Game saves a ship low log. So should I say yes? Thank you all for the follows. Quacky boy, one shot. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, okay. All right, we should be good then. Either is fine. You just looped your good. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Wow. Okay. I will say <laughs> this has been a lot. Um. I feel, of course, y'all. This game makes everyone feel like a dumbass. Yeah, I'm like, I feel not smart. I feel like I truly don't know what the hell is going on. I do think I'm starting to get the hang of the mechanics just a little bit better, but I'm really glad to know that I'm not alone. I hope that everyone who has played this started out going Sorry, what? It just, it seems like it's, to me, since there's no, like, you know, checklist of things to do, and it's so open, I'm like, okay, how am I going to progress? Like, how, how am I going to know that I'm, like, moving forward, you know? I feel like the game isn't meant to be easy when you start, yeah. Yeah, it's not me. Y'all know the feeling, though. Whenever you start something new and it's just, like, so out there, it's just one of those things where you're like, <laughs> huh, okay. So, like, I'm not going to say I don't like it, but I'm not going to say I love it, but I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep trying um, on stream, of course. But I'm anxious to see what, you know, how it progresses and why everybody is literally so obsessed with it. Because at this current moment, of course, my first day of gameplay, I'm just like, yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. But it's, it's very cool. Love the setting. Love the music. Love the, you know, curiosity. It's just hard, you know, stuff's hard sometimes, but that's okay. Meant to throw you off in a good way. Mama didn't raise no quitter, that's what I'm saying. We're gonna keep trying. Thank y'all very much for hanging out with me. Thank you for supporting me, giving me hints, not spoiling unless I ask you to. I do appreciate it, and I do beg of you, those of you who enjoy the game, to please come back to stream to help me when I need it, okay? Um, for anyone who's new, please feel free to join the Discord. That's the easiest way to keep up when it, for uh, whenever I stream. Otherwise, my schedule is like down in my About Me section on Twitch. But um, I will definitely continue to stream this. I'll probably do more next week. And yeah, this has been fun. Thank you all for hanging out as usual.